Hey everyone, Paul from Paul Goes. Uh, welcome to League One. Um, so we're set to go here. Uh, on the draw, terrible hand. We're obviously going to be throwing away. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Might not be the most glamorous of games at the beginning. <laughs> With eight rack though, lands are at a premium, and if, obviously drawing a Raven's Crime is a is a really big um, out to this particular scenario that we're in. Um, the rack is actually quite poor here. I don't. It's better than a land, but it's not actually that great. So I'm going to be greedy. Put it on the bottom. Yeah, I'm not even going to play the affliction. Ooh, hello. Ooh. C Drino type deal. Oh, it does run removal prop decay. Okay, that's fine. All right. Um, I'm pretty happy overall um, that we are up against this particular deck. Actually, um, I don't know if we'll win game one. Do much here. All right. I think we just have to take this in that case. Hmm. Maybe path on end of turn. Okay. Well, we know it's Resto, so I'm going to go ahead and get in. What does it do? Put a... He put Seed Rhino into his hand. Okay. Oh, thank you. I'll have one of them. Actually, think, should, it, should I go for Resto here? Oh, I'll take the Rhino. I'll look around. Um... Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> so he... Yeah. Just not sure. That shouldn't... Uh, there's two damage. I think I need to go for it. I need to go hell for leather here. So. He can go back up to nine. Drops me to three. And then, yeah, he just plays it out again. Restoration Angel. I could top deck a discard spell though. Yeah. No. Alright, I'll try and do better in game two. Um I think I do like Leyline of the Void. Um So there's five cards I'm interested in bringing in. I can't really think what I want to take out though. I think the deck more or less is configured the way I want it to be configured. Um, so for those of you who've seen the other videos, I'm a going first guy. So we'll see if that ends up being... Uh... Oh, this is embarrassing. What happened there? Yeah, that's cool. All right, this is is what it is. Okay. God, I still arrogantly think I'm, despite these tragic errors, that like I'm still a decent shout at this when he's got six in hand. So. I suppose lingering souls, yeah, definitely. 
It's looking very unlikely we'll be able to recover from this now. Yeah, take the decay here. Yeah, no, there's just no way. That's so embarrassing. Uh, I'm gonna stop beating myself up. Sometimes you make mistakes. Oh. Well, what am I gonna do here, Lily? We're dead, we're dead. 5 plus 7 is 12. We left on... Yeah, there's no way we can win this game. Alright, sorry again, folks. Let's just pick it up in game 2, or match 2. Uh, uh, on the draw, this is a keep. Alright, concentration. Elf. Ooh, this is a tough decision. We can either dismember him or we can Inquisition. I think it's Inquisition here in case his hand is bad. In which case Wrench Mine makes massive, massive inroads and his hand is bad. Um, yeah, so it's Arbor Elf here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. So there goes a bird. So those are the two cards in his hand. So there you go. So, yeah. Okay. Ooh. He hasn't. She's going to be stuck in his hand. Oh. If this is right or not, I would love to get Bob down to try and find that land, but I just want to ride this this pin that we have on him. He's missed. He has missed. That's interesting. What card could he possibly want more that he <laughs> that he can't cast? I, I kind of want to keep the second copy of Lily. He deserves land. Come on now. Even even I, as your opponent, think that that's fair. Here she is. Okay. Stone Rain's okay for us. It's not too bad. Uh, we can trade. We could... So one thing we could do here is let let this connect. Then on our up on our turn, use her as use the remaining loyalty to destroy the elf. Replay the next lily instead of trading out the thing. And I'm thinking that that's correct. That wastes his resources. I'm gonna always yield to Bob. That's nicely done. Right. Kiss that goodbye. That's easy to mess this up, so... Once you've degenerated... What was that, a land and he just played it? Plays forest. Yikes. Yeah. This is just where he's so powerful. He's so, so good. Very hard for us to um, lose this game now. You know, he's so good when you get to this point in the game. Like, he, he just pulls their arm over. It's really, really good stuff. We drop, it, drop an Inquisition. So, I don't want to go ban smallpox. It's just I really want to minimise the chance of having two in hand. I want absolutely one at most in the course of the first, say, 10 or 11 cards against this guy. Ah, uh, good hand. Yep, this is just your, cl your classic Jund uh, line. Peer and Kirin's though, fairly terrible for us. 
Uh, we don't particularly want Peer and Kieran to happen. That's a really problematic card. Um, taking Stone Rain here. I've got to pray for another Thought Seize. This is our only chance to get it. So I'm going to take it and let him Stone Rain. And this is okay. It's not super amazing, but maybe I should have played around um, Stone Rain on Yorgmoth, by the way. That's a thing. Thing to think about. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe I should be hitting the elf before he gets to, um... Oh, my goodness. Oh, now we're just absolutely dead. Mmm. Okay, yep. Um... Thought is interesting. Uh, I'm not even sure if this is optimal or not. It's just I've got no hope of winning now. So, three, two. Uh, <laughs> been testing um, in the last week or so this and and other just modern decks. I keep having to fight this same opponent over and over. Time is. Uh, Hmm. Yep. Try like this. Okay, not bad, not great. Oh, I don't want to really cast Raven's Crime now. Which would normally be a no-no, but uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to cast Raven's Crime now. Oh, that is good. That is that is exactly what we want. Um. Wow. Yep. Alright, this is a pretty good spot for us to be in. Happy to go down to two lands here. The other one. Um... Opportunities online. Stone rain's not good enough. Yeah, now he's in very big trouble. Mm, good game. Okay. So, like, uh, I uh, sometimes I like to go back and watch replays of of my games and or my matches and stuff. But yeah, again. Him going first and getting that momentum in game two seemed so good for him. And so, yeah, I'm I'm increasingly convinced that it's ah uh, like maybe it's just against that matchup that it's that it's a thing that going first is is right. But um, I'd love to play Yug Yug again. I have a funny feeling that was a good matchup for us too. It certainly looks good. Ooh, high stakes hand. So spreading seas is a disaster for us. Um, <laughs> this is a really all in sort of hand. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll keep. We'll be brave. Certainly not going to mulligan it. This is quite popular at the moment. Martyr. It might be the proclamation of rebirth version. Um, and he's probably going to draw another Dork, so I'll take a Martyr. That's fair enough, that's exactly 
what he should be doing. So I think this is okay. I'm going to force him to activate. I think that's his hand. Okay, go ahead and get him off, mate. Can't stop that. I pay four life so that you can gain nine. Trust me, I'm, I'm, I'm building up to something here, people. Oh, the rack doesn't do much yet. Yeah, that's cool. Ranger danger. Definitely taking him. Yeah, I'm cool with this. If you want to, if you want to path this, it's totally fine. Very satisfying. That's totally fine. Wow. Alright. Dude playing bit mill. Blue black mill. Um, before I started recording the videos. And um, yeah, like, good on you. You know? Consider ultimating. Even when you you know we won't have a um, an ability to to to, to force a sacrifice, I have to decide. That's going to be an interesting decision to make uh, next turn. I think they go in his hand, right? They don't they don't come out onto the field. Put them back out again. Two martyrs. Why? Why, dude? So, oh, we'll do that. Uh, he suitably ages away from... Uh, oh, Ghost Quarter. Yeah, that was a good play after all. Ghost Quarter was um, was threatening to open up a, a clear path to, uh, to Liliana. So now he can attack. He can Ghost Quarter two of my Mutavolts, but... Oh, and he can feel the third one? <laughs> Yeah, 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 okay, all right. I'm cool with this. I still think it was correct to plus there. Ah, oh, that was a mistake he made. Yeah, in retrospect, maybe it was a mistake I made as well, though. Um. Yes. Ah, he'll be annoyed with himself there. Yep. I know I do, but there's nothing I can do about that. Go ahead. Oh, that's just mean. really isn't good. I think now's the right time to ultimate. Uh, you can either have ghostly prison and a land. Um, this is fine. I mean, it, you know, if he plays a card that doesn't gain life, he dies. So, okay. So, oh jeez, um, and normally I don't panic too much against Leyline, I, you know, I, Smallpox and uh, Liliana are both very strong at, at just drawing you clear of, of, of Leyline and allow if it does pull off a Sarah Ascendant at 30 life, Fatal will get us there, whereas Dismember won't. Uh, the only other thing Dismember hits is uh, Ranger of Eos. It's good against Leyland. We've got 25 seconds left here. Ranting and rambling. Um, I'm going to keep two bobs. I'm going to drop a small pox. That's going to do it. Interesting bob and bond too. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to keep. I'm going to be a little bit greedy. I probably don't need to be greedy, but I'm going to be. Oh, but Thoughtseize turn one is so sweet. I don't want a smallpox art. Yeah, no, it's, it's got to be Squadron. So the big thing with Squadron, of course, is... Um, Squadron Hawk uh, comes into play and allows him to put three copies of itself in his hand, which is a massive, massive problem. It's like it's it's worse than Ancestral Visions. It's it's horrendous. Um, that's exactly what he's going to do. Okay. Yeah. So land is at a massive premium for us in our hand, the, the particular hand that we have. Raven's Crime wants to discard them. Uh, Smallpox wants to destroy them. And Liliana also requires three of them to be on the battlefield, so does Bontu, so we are begging for land, basically. So trading Bob um, for a card and a free land is um, is great. Core Firewalk is not very useful here. Um, this is fine. And Ghost Quarter. Right, so he still has O-Ring in hand. On that basis, do I want to make him pitch it? Like it's annoying that we had to. Yeah, that's cool. Um, right, we'll do this. Oh, mate, what is, what is that? Don't play the card. Yeah. All right. Well, this doesn't feel like a, a very. You know, I have, you know, it, it feels a bit like, it feels a bit harsh. So I don't want to be too cocky here or, or, or whatever about how fantastic my deck is, or my strategy's been. He's clearly a new player who's who's just coming to, into the format. Um. Is there any reason to not? So I really can't see Bontu mattering now. It probably is a right answer with all this. Ooh. Sure. Um. Good game, my man. Good game. What time is it? Uh, I think we're ready to go. Join match. We will keep. And this is a very tough match uh, for us. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay, so it's Jund, it's just normal Jund, which is actually quite good for us. So his Liliana is worse than our Liliana. That's the rule of thumb when you're up against Jund. Uh, I think the pick here is fairly easily going to be... Hmm. Well, yeah, I think it's still Ooze, though. I think it's still Ooze. Let's see if this turns out to be right or wrong. Uh, I think Liliana of the Last Hope is... Liliana, comma, the last hope, rather, is the um, the more scary card for us. Uh, crime, crime, double crime. Right, so if it's straight up Jund, yeah, I'm liking this a bit better. So, ooh, will I live to regret this, maybe? But I'm going to, de to deny both of us, Urborg. Yeah. yeah. Right. Something like that. Is so you can see what I'm talking about, like with the degeneration. If I have a rack effect out, you know, 
you, you just can't get out of it in time. Do I care? So, Hessen Quagmire. He has, okay. Oh. Two, I can't see from here. I think it's got two power. Death Touch. Keeping four lands seems like I'd be on about 12 life by now. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Why didn't he... Uh... It's got to be land in his hand. There's absolutely no point taking that at this point. I may as well just uh So I wonder does this deck play Gurmag Anglers or just wondering about switching out the dismembers for fatal push? He has so much land, there's just nothing I can really draw that helps much. I've had no rack effects. How many attempts have I made to draw? <laughs> yeah, quite a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, he does have to. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. And he can activate as well, which is terrible. Oh. Hmm. I think I think this is a, f a fine game to lose. We've just drawn, um, we've just drawn worse than him. Well, <laughs> all right, why not? Uh, can swallow that. That's all right. Yep. Okay. Finally, we can. Finally, we can concede. Ooh, juicy, juicy. Now, what do we do? Hoo -hoo -hoo. Fatal push. I do think is good. Um. I don't want ley line. I love smallpox. Um. I haven't actually brought her in yet in um any of the uh, games we've played so far or matches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blackmail seems good. Blackmail seems quite good, actually. Only 24 seconds left. Yeah, I think Blackmail's strong here. Alright. Yes, not too much removal, please. Oh, come on, man. Dear, oh dear. Sorry, everyone. I think it's a keep. I've done it now, but as I say, I do think it is a keep. Uh, I'm desperate for a swamp. Oh dear. Well, this might be the legitimate loss. The, the one that, you know, is supposed to be... supposed to happen. We have to be okay with. I can take ooze as well, now that you mention it. It's probably... Mm, yeah. I'm not 100% sure, which was right there, given that I've got a second inquisition coming up, thank god. <laughs> <gasps> oh, Tamo. Yeah. Well, maybe he suspects something, but I don't care. I'm doing anything. 
playing Tyler Boy, if you may. Experienced player. Just gonna play into it, okay. Force me to have it. Outcome is in Quagmire. I can maybe hit the bin. That was a heap of fun last time, wasn't it? Was he did he miss a land drop on purpose? Is that what happened there? Probably doesn't have anything, but Inquisition becomes quite bad, and these... Ooh, what on earth? Maelstrom Pulse. Oh, what a catch. That could be the difference between having a chance of winning and, and not here. It really could. That was a huge pickup. She is going to be annoying, but she's, he's discarding, so you're putting yourself to a virtual 10 by doing that. You see, she's just on his side of the table. She doesn't have the same... Oh, jeez, this is terrible. Okay. Had everything his own way. Um, this is a problem for him. Yeah. And tried to go ultimate. So he has to hoard, and that's a good thing for us. So we need to just draw some discard pressure. Wow. Why on earth would you concede there? Why would you concede? I had... All you had to do was... You didn't have to... Um, right, is this too much? Is this removal package too much? Is there too much going on here? Doing that, surely. Unless you're saying to me, but what about smallpox and these three creatures? Well, let's find out if it matters. Let's see, shall we? Now we are going second, and in an Inquisition War you really yet another reason to go first and to be wanting to go first. Um, I'll go first, Inquisition, you, and stop what you're doing, he's multi six, that's good. Can't get used to this artwork. Now is it just me, everyone, or is this, does it look a little bit edgy? It, it just looks a little bit rough, like it's been torn off or something. It doesn't look like this wonderful, you know, heraldic... Uh, I don't know if that's a word, but you know what I mean. It doesn't look that great. And every single legendary card is going to look like this now, really. Oh, well, actually, this is a bit of a. Sh I mean, if this, you know, if this ends up dictating the match, it's yeah. Well, that's a nice draw. It's not really. Yeah, I'm. I'm not convinced by the. Um, Artwork. I mean, I suppose it would be easy for them to go back and switch back if there was enough. Nothing on turn two. Oh dear, we're, in, we're a long way ahead here now in, in terms of material. Tassiga and Lily. Tassiga and Lily. Didn't love him having a Lily, and like having her put repeated pressure on this is, yeah, not amazing. And having a dominate Bob, so I'm going to take Lily. Let him play Tassica. Oh, he's not even going to get to do that. Oh, I didn't even realise this. I, I completely forgot that I had a Raven's Crime coming up. So now he's got to just pray for yeah, 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 yeah. So he's just got to pray for land so he can do his thing. Yeah. Yeah. So pitching Inquisition here and then into. Oh, this is just harsh. So harsh. That See that expression on this guy's face here? I understand. He's on 19, but you know what? I understand. I understand why you would want to quit there. Th this is what White Tiger Zord is doing right now. You know, wherever he, wherever he is in the world. Um, and I'm not trying to be an ass, you know, saying that, like, but, yeah, typical Jundi-style Liliana against 8-Rack is, is, a, is a good matchup for 8-Rack. Um, yeah, yeah. And the only other thing worth touching on, I suppose, in that game is the whole point about, um, 
uh, the rant I was going on about the Inquisition War, where, which is yet another scenario where I believe going first gives you a massive advantage. If you Inquisition first m- mess up his plans, uh, get to the second mana, get to the third mana first, get your good stuff down, um, that that is worth the card disadvantage that you, you give up by having him go second. Uh, yeah, by having him go second and, you, and yourself going first. Um, if he goes first and Inquisitions, you know, sometimes with 8-rack, you'll keep a hand that's like, you know, land, 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 Liliana, rack, Shrieking Affliction. And you're playing to, to your Liliana, you're looking at it going, well, look, I've, you know, it's not very exciting, but I can get to my Lily. And then he goes turn one Inquisition, bang, no you're not. Oh my goodness. What could this be? Wow. Huh. Okay. Grave crawler is a problem. We like putting things in the graveyard, so if he's got a bunch of stuff that wants to go there. Okay. I don't know what to take here. I'm sorry I'm taking so long, everyone, but you've got to cast this, the two creatures to bring it back. I'm going to take the glimpse. I have no idea if that's right, like that... Sure. Um... Bloodgast in general, um, and this guy by extension, you know, very strong against us, you know, we... So, so good. Um... Yeah. Like, you're desperate to put stuff... I mean, Dredge is just such a hilarious match, it's... The one thing I didn't explain in the primer maybe is that if your metagame, if you're playing in paper or whatever, has lots of dredge, this deck is a complete, like, 8-rack is just a joke. It just crumbles. It's almost not worth trying, you know. Um, you can bring in your one Leyland of the Void and just pray to find it, but... Yeah, see what I mean. We put it there for him with French Mind. <laughs> yeah, a very tough match for us. Oops, the... <laughs> I, yeah, I, this could just be a bit of bad luck at the end that we've come up against a, 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 a dredge-esque sort of deck, but, um, yep. Yeah. Desperately for, um... Leyline of the Void. Without it, I don't think there's any hope. Sad way to end, actually. Because I was having fun. But this is the most unfun experience you can have as an 8-rack player. <laughs> that was all he wrote. Uh, dear, oh dear. If he plays Graveclaw on his first turn, surely it's okay to have it in. But then it fights with yeah you know you don't you don't bring in three bontus unless you're taking out small box okay all right sanity prevails yo <laughs> yep as unplayable as the rest of the hand is I am going to keep um. I don't know, I, four is a lot, like it takes up a lot of room. Uh, having said that, how often have I wanted my Asylum Visitor, my third Bob? How often have I wanted Funeral Charm? Practically never. Tome Scour me? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> is that even, does that, what does that do? Does that draw him a card? Oh, hey, by the way, if anyone knows, why why when I click this does it not show me the card? In the old versions of the client, I used to be able to click Tome Scour and it tell me what the heck it was and what it did. Mm-hmm. Target player puts the top... Oh, man, how can you run that card, man? I... I suppose I should keep this open, keep an eye on what's been... How do I pin this back? Do I push this little arrow? There we go. Yeah, he's got prized. He's got it all. He's got he's got the whole package of stuff. Wow, look how much he loves his graveyard, Gurmag. Yeah. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I need to be 
you know, maybe I need to just actually face facts here that Leyline of the Void is your only hope against these decks, and as a result, you should be running four, um, as opposed to marginal cards that just help some of your matchups a little bit. He's just trying to mill me to death, is he? Okay, well, that's a tall order. That is a very tall order. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm not going to be too precious here. I'm just going to do this. Very, very tough for him to get out from under here now. He's on a vir if he does nothing, he's on a virtual five. Oh, he's doing something. I think perhaps playing out the Narcomoeba there was just uh, abandoning all hope, and why not? So, yeah, like. If we get lucky and find our ley line again, we can still have a chance, but oh boy, without it are we are we in trouble without it. We've got a few I, I st it's possible that we're twenty five percent equity or something like that in this game. Uh going second. We have a few more answers to him here though, or temporary answers. Um if I care about that thing. I really feel like his mill plan is is why wouldn't you just dredge instead? All right, fingers crossed everyone. Come on. My string constant is still out of date. Thankfully that's not a fatal error. Come on now, give me Whoa, yuck. Okay, we have to mulligan. I think we mulligan this with in a vacuum game 1, we don't know who our opponent is. This is a hand you would always mulligan. Um, it has no discard pressure. Uh, this hand... Oh. He doesn't have an answer to Bob, so Bob is good. Um, we might be able to, with Bob, we might even be able to hardcast it if we draw it. Um, not that it'll help. Mm. She's probably... we probably put her on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. I guess he could have caught a uh, thingy there as well, like a. Oh, I didn't need that. Uh, if anyone's seen this deck and knows it, um, maybe it's a well celebrated version. It's just cra crazy bizarre. and pray for a reckoning um, on the second crack from the angler. So that actually seems like the thing I want to do. I'm going to try to maximize my Bontu's reckoning by allowing Bob to live. I mean, he might remove him, obviously, and that's just something I have to accept and live with if that's what happens. So really hoping to hit a swamp here, off these two cards. Need a little bit of luck. Okay, there's a land. So here I can crime and wrench and then chump. The angler. Okay, so I'm kind of trying to do this sneaky roundabout move. Vengevine, oh my goodness. So he has no hope of hardcasting Vengevine ever. And then blow up the world a bit. Man, it'd be so nice if I could get these afflictions down, actually. He might, he might mistakenly play out his hand. He is. 
Well, maybe he gets a prize from Malgram, though. Oh, he does. Yeah, okay. So now I'm in very big trouble. I'm pretty proud of myself, though. I think I've played this correctly. He doesn't get it yet. It comes out at the end of his turn, I think, doesn't it? Gee, I tell you what. Going affliction, affliction here is so tempting. Okay, so if I go to 12 here... I'm certainly not going to 6, so this is an easy decision. He attacks, I block. Bob took a while to step forward there. He was a bit reluctant, wasn't he? Down you go, down the gob. I'm thinking here, I can drop him to 7 life. He then cracks back for 10 with his prized amalgram. A am am prized amalgam. It's an amalgam of different part body parts. That's why it's called that. Is that correct, or should I tap out for Bontu's Last Reckoning? Oh. Does he get Vengevine as well here, maybe? I don't know. Oh, what to do? Oh, juicy. Because he dies on his second upkeep before that second card comes out. So, all right, I'm going to take a chance here. I'm going to go for it. Yeah, sorry, pal. Taking too long to decide, as usual. But I don't think you can beat this. I think we're racing and I'm winning. It's got to be Collective Brutality. I just cannot think of what else he could top deck here that wins him the game. Oh, what's it going to be? Please, please let me go for one. Oh, two mana. Glimpse. Yeah. What does that do? Nothing? Blood ghasts. It did nothing. Are we getting there? Take ten. I think we've got there. Ah, oh, that is sweet. That is very sweet. Being able to beat a deck like this, as uh, admittedly that's a very roguey sort of build. Like, yeah, I. If you take away the, <coughs> if you take away the crazy mill strategy here, right? If you take away the useless cards in his hand, which were kind of like Glimpse the Unthinkable really was. Um. I mean, he got one Tome Scour that gave him a free prized am amalgam. Get that right one day. Um, but that, so, yeah, looking back over the over the matches, really, definitely this one and Berra Candy are the two that really stand out in terms of lessons learned. I think my theory about Smallpox and Bontu not going together is kind of true. I mean, in the sense that if you're bringing in all three Bontus, don't be Smallpoxing because, you know, you've got four Lilies presumably as well, and there's just too much, you're asking too much of your land base to... Um, to survive the small boxing to get up there. Um, okay, that'll do it for the first league of our 8-rack Odyssey. Thanks again, everyone, and uh, I'll see you next time.